What is up, planet? It is the Tarot Priest. I'm back with another Pick a Card reading. In today's Pick a Card reading, I'm going to be looking at messages from deceased loved ones, whether that's been a while ago or previously. This is going to be a pretty heavy video as I've already been channeling messages from deceased loved ones, ancestors, and etc. There's going to be a ton of different scenarios. So I'm really, really excited to get into this reading. I've been holding off this particular video until I felt like I was restored and rejuvenated enough to be able to channel these messages as they are a little bit more complex than the questions that you guys uh, previously asked. So I want to make sure that this is uh, taken very delicately, very lightly, and that I'm being used as a portal for only love and light. For those that are new to the channel and the planet, welcome where we embrace love, happiness, freedom, and truth. Thank you guys so much for your support for, I can't even begin to describe the feedback and the messages. I don't really have much time to get back to you guys. So like I always say, make sure that you're following me on Instagram at the Tarot Priest, as I will be a little bit more interactive directly with you guys. Again, thank you personally for all of you guys that are part of my Patreon planet, which are in the description below who are donating. I've been a little busy, so I'm hoping that 2020 will be the year and the start for the course, the book, and et cetera, all the amazing things that I have in store for you guys. Also, if you guys are looking to book a personal reading, a life coach session, uh, information about my book, my online tarot course that I will be releasing, or just any other questions, you can find all that information in the description box below. I'll be working to get a website up here pretty soon so that you guys can just go to the website and find any information that you may be seeking. And I updated my description box with a address. So if you guys do want to send anything to me, I know a few of you have been asking about if I had an address or where you guys can send care packages or thank you messages or whatever um, that you guys have. If you guys have your own business out, you have t-shirt, merchandise, bracelets, candles, whatever, and you would like me to support, don't forget to send me that. So you can find that information in, of course, the description box below, per usual for everything else that you guys may be seeking. Last but not least, those that have bought merchandise from my channel, I want to personally thank you guys. A few of you have tagged me in Instagram. Again, like I always say, follow my Instagram because if you guys have a shirt or are supporting anything that I'm doing, please mention me in your story so that I can show my gratitude and let the world know how much I appreciate you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a close up view of the stones so you guys can better choose which deck you feel like is resonating or pulling towards you, but ultimately trust your intuition to guide you to whichever deck you feel like is pulling towards you. So here's a close up view of all of the decks. For those of you who are have trouble seeing from uh, the front view. Here is a top view and um, these angels are different. So every angel here is a little different. I have four decks, deck one, deck two, deck three, deck four. Here is also a close up of the stones. Again, they're white, so they may be a little bit harder to find or see, but I want you guys to pause the video and choose which deck you feel like is pulling towards you and that will be the deck for your reading today all right let's hop into today's reading and see what messages you have in store from your deceased loved ones okay if you guys chose deck number one this is your reading in messages from your deceased loved ones all right we're gonna start with the personality or the energy of the people that you guys are asking about all right, so we have Wisdom, Moose, let your head and mind reach the stars, Elk, Nobility. When I was shuffling through this deck, I already kind of felt the messages that were coming through. Now, again, um, this is going to be a general message, so take which resonates. There are going to probably be three to four specific scenarios that I'm channeling for each deck. That's kind of what I was picking up. So um, bear with me on that. I just want to make sure that you guys are getting the appropriate messages based on the person that you guys are inquiring about. Now, this specific deck, I was already feeling like this was going to be someone with masculine energy. Again, remember that gender is fluid. There is no boy or girl. OK, so don't get offense, offended if I use that terminology, uh, because I'm going to really be picking up on the energy of this person this person seems older they seem very wise i was already feeling that as, as i was shuffling out this deck in particular 
So some of you guys have lost someone um, that was very wise. This person doesn't really seem to be someone who is a very outspoken or always talking. Um, now they could be talking um, because I feel like there are family events where this person is at and they're talking. Um, but for the most part, they're a lot more observant and their behavior is more of like guiding you guys in, in wisdom and love also. So whoever this person is, uh, they're a leader. Uh, they were like the glue of the family and um, they have an older energy. So it seems like it could have been a grandparent that had passed. And to be more specific for those of you um, that this resonates with, it seems more of like a male figure. Okay, it could be a female or a male, but with this, it um, I'm definitely talking to you guys. If this is a male, older figure that you guys have lost, that created a lot of wisdom, a lot of love for you guys. It seems like you relied a lot on this person to kind of tell you where to go and how to like live life. Um, they, they want you to know that you're being a little too hard on yourself, and I probably would agree with that. Uh, because what they're saying, like whoever this person is, they're saying that life is much easier than you're making it. And uh, they want you to know that you can't do wrong by them is basically what they're saying. Um, and so whoever this person is, they kind of already knew where you were going to go and who you were going to be in life. Like they have a lot of ancestral spirit they have a lot of, um, it's just a lot of wisdom. Someone who is just so wise, even at a younger age, they were very wise, but they want you to know that your accomplishments are not based off of material or tangible things. In a sense, they want you to know that they're proud of you, like for how far you've come. And some of you even question like, I've gotten this far, but what would so-and-so think or believe if they knew like I didn't do this or I quit this this person is like you can't do wrong by me and they're even saying honey so I'm just gonna say the messages I'm learning that with the with these readings I'm just gonna say the messages that are coming to me and if they're for you it'll be specific for you and then it'll be a general for all of you guys who are like that resonates um but they're saying honey sweetheart they're using terms of endearment and they want you to know that it definitely seems like an older figure, okay? Without the gender. Yeah, they were a guardian to you. Some of you were raised by this person. <sighs> I didn't even get to um, say what I wanted to say in the very beginning, which I will go back to do. Um, yeah, they seem like a guardian. Um, there's three specific people. One of the one of them is definitely a male. Okay. Definitely a male, definitely a grandpa or a father figure. Now, for some of you guys, this isn't a male, but they have a lot of independent energy. Like if it was a female or a grandparent, they were either single doing it by themselves, they were hard workers. Um, they raised you guys. This is almost like this person I'm picking up is more of like a second parent to you. And that's why it hurts so much to lose them. Some of you guys, this is a recent person, but a few of you, this is like two years, one year mark, but it still feels fresh. Like it still feels like it just happened yesterday. So this might be the second or third Christmas or holidays that you are, guys are sharing without them. Um, no matter what, like their energy is just like, they believed in you, they believe in you. Um, you cannot do wrong by them at all. Like if you stole from the store, they'd be like, mm -mm, not my, not my blah, blah, blah. Like, no, nope, not going to believe it. Like they just think so many good things of you. They're very kind. And um, again, like I was saying, picking up those three people, one person is um, a talker. One person is like funny, always making funny messages. This other person is quiet. There's like three people here. Um, three specific people who have passed in your guys' life. Um, and, and when I say that, I mean one person is coming in here, another person is coming in, and another person is coming in. Three people. So take which one you feel like resonates. So yeah, they're a guardian. They, got, they raised you. 
um, and they want you to they want you to not follow in their footsteps. Like don't work so hard. Like their advice that they're giving you right now is don't don't be like me. Even though I was the example, what they're saying is like I was the example for you in life, but don't just be kind. Like this person is so damn simple. Like oh, I love it. Okay. I'm not even going to get through these cards. Gosh, there's so many messages. Um, this person is just like so kind and they're just like, be kind to others, be kind to yourself, love and enjoy life. They want you to start going after your ideas more. This is something they wish that they could have done um, when they were here that they didn't feel like they had time because they were so worried about you or the family or work. Like this person was a very, when I say hardworking, I mean, this person was really hardworking. I don't even know if they took a break. They just cared so much about their family. Um, so yeah, they want you to bring your life, your ideas to life. Okay. They want you to go after that. They want you to explore life is what they're saying. Don't think that life is exactly how I made it put because even when this person is saying, even when they passed, they didn't know as much as they thought they did because they thought to just work hard and provide and do these things. And they're wishing that you could do more of the things that they couldn't do. So keep life as a mystery. This person is also mysterious. Like I was saying for that one person that was picking up heavily in the beginning is that they're kind of like, they don't really talk much. They, they say when they do talk, it's just like everyone listens. They have something to say or the things that they say seem so simple but then you look at them now and you're like, wow, that actually means something more than I thought at the time that you said it. Um, so they do have a lot of wisdom, but they're very soft. This person is very soft spoken. The other person is very outspoken as well, but we're going to narrow it down. Patience. Yeah. So they want you to slow down and they want you to play more. Like they keep saying that, like, don't forget that you are a child. Like, don't forget that. Don't forget to be and have fun. Patience, uh, magician. And we have the nine of pinnacles. A lot of you, they're saying like, you're over, you're becoming them. Like you're overworking yourself. You're working hard. You're not really going after life. They're saying like, don't do like, that's not the way for you. Like there's another route that will bring you happiness and they want you to worry about that. Like, don't worry about the finances. Don't worry about providing. Don't worry about these things because what they're telling you, this, these people that the, your ancestors or your loved ones that have passed, they're all in agreement. Like there's not just one person that's coming through. It's a few people that are just like, don't get caught up in this rat race. That's the word that they're using rat race rat race about providing and making money it's really about enjoying life and making things manifest this person and i'm just going to say one person because again they're all in agreement when i'm saying this so until someone interjects then i'm just going to keep going um they're all in agreement to that they've been connecting with you a lot of you guys may have felt like you've been guided by this person. They're definitely one of your guides and um, guardian, like their energy, their spirit is still with you. Um, man, some of you guys had amazing uh, grandparents and guardians in your life because they really just have this sense of caring, this sensible way of like approaching you it is so delicate. It's not even like, like they're proud of you <laughs> they're proud of you but they don't want you to stop your life like don't because of this loss like a lot of you are finding it hard um to live without them because they were the glue they were the guide but they're saying like they're passing the baton to you but they want you to know that your ideals are, are worth executing the patience is worth it play have fun balance see i knew i would <sighs> balance Okay. Take time to relax. That's what I'm saying. That's what they keep saying. So I know that take time to relax. A lot of you guys have goals and dreams and you're just like, 
I'm going to do this for my grandpa. I'm going to do this for my uncle, my dad that passed away or whoever this person is. It definitely seems like a grandparent or an older person or a, a person with wisdom and older energy and elder. Um, but they're like, no, mm -mm, don't be like me. Have fun. Enjoy life. You can do no wrong by me. Victory. Yeah. They feel like you're going to be very successful. That you're overthinking it. A lot of you guys have closed off with the fourth chakra here. A lot of you have closed off your self because you've lost this person or it has affected your life dramatically um, so much that it, it has affected your, your um, connections with people. A lot of you are still heartbroken about this loss. They're saying like, it's okay to move forward. They're in a good place. They're at peace. Um, Angel of Balance is coming up again. They want you to balance this. Basically, like what they're saying is be that kid that you always were. That's that's like the true core of who you were at the most innocent time and the most vulnerable and authentic version of yourself is when you were a child, like a cub. Okay, let's see what else they have. What else do you guys have for the people who have chosen this deck? Ace of Swords, change your perspective on life. The star having more hope a lot of you have lost hope or um some of you have accomplished things and and wanted and want to share it with this person they're they're giving you the okay to move forward in life like they're at peace there's there's nothing that you have to worry about again they have been trying to connect with you but some of you i hear like or feel like you guys might be afraid of that because it's kind of <laughs> weird you know um to communicate with people who have passed it's not something that's a commonality or a normal considered normal in today's society but they are so basically the reason why i'm saying that is because that closes off the channel of communication when um, ancestors or guides are trying to communicate with you whether that's through numbers things that fall lights that flicker or turn on these are specific messages that i'm getting so lights that flicker move on things that you place in one place that are not there anymore um messages so take like what i'm what I'm hearing from this person is you're going so fast that you um, haven't really had the opportunity to see that there is someone that's trying to communicate with you because you're like going, going, going. So like um, relax is what they're saying. <laughs> Chill. Let things flow. Like don't. Another thing that I'm hearing is from what they're saying is don't try to like impress the family or don't. Uh, compete with everyone um just live your life don't worry about what people are thinking about how you're living it is what they're saying five of cups yeah some of you guys have not gotten over this this is definitely like apparent it's coming up again so now back to uh, another person so we do have a queen you guys could be an aquarius they could have been an aquarius or had aquarius in their chart that's one of the um, signs that i am seeing uh, but with the Queen of Swords, this can also be um, an older female person. Let's see more on this. Like I said, guys, there's tons of people channeling. Yeah, there's a king and a, a king and a queen. So it could be two people that you guys have lost. Um, grandparents specifically is like what I'm picking up on. Or you may have not met them before. So many different scenarios. Uh, queen of swords king of swords whoever they were they were like the leaders of the family like specifically assigned to lead your guys's family ten of cups there's a lot of happiness there like i said this isn't someone that you were distant from this isn't someone that just passed um some of you wish like there's regrets like i wish that i would have spent more time with you um a lot of you are harder on yourself they're they're asking like just release that it's okay like there's no worries. There's like what they're saying is like where peace is, is where they are. So if you're not at peace with something about something that have that has happened that you didn't get to say, I love you last. You didn't get to say, um, I'm sorry. All of these things that you guys are holding on to, they're saying like, that's, that's not where they're at. They're in peace. So if it doesn't bring you peace, like release it is what they're saying. Okay. Six of cups, memories. A lot of you are dwelling on it. It was it was a lot. This person brought a lot of happiness to you, a lot of love for you guys. So I can see that um, one of one of wands. So this is about your energy and also changing your direction to be more passionate about life. I actually feel like once you guys properly grieve this situation and release it 
to be to be at peace for yourself um things are going to shift for you is what they're saying too is like that's why they've came through is because they feel like they're kind of like blocking you from moving forward is what i'm hearing specifically there has been some blockages they they have been trying to communicate with you like i love you i'm at peace i'm here to guide you you can feel my love but don't don't neglect living life because of that yeah some of you guys are working 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 excessively working um some of you even do it to not think about the things that, or the people that you've lost um or you just have this point to prove about not growing up in poverty um and wanting this person to be proud of you for the accomplishments that you had have had in life because they're like a men they were a mentor to you ten of swords yeah you guys have not let this person go um you're having some hard times letting it go or accepting that they've left or that they're gone again this is a tough transition that's why i'm being delicate as i speak to you guys but i want you to know and everyone's in in, in every every guide right now is in agreement is that death is a transition and i'll probably share this with every deck a transition in life and it is also an experience of unconditional love and so this person leaving that love that you have for them is the example and the measurement of love in your entire life in relationships okay king of pentacles so whoever they were they were definitely a provider um they want again they want you to know that providing they understand is essential or a good job or making sure that your family is taken care of or in the, even if you don't have a family just yet in the future um but they still are saying like to slow down lovers you guys could be a gemini or dealing with the gemini and the hangman yeah this is a spiritual connection like that's why they've been trying to get in touch with you um it's about perspective changing your perspective of the death of like death because it's something that you guys are struggling with in everything it's not just this this is an example what they're showing me is like this is an example of like in your relationships not like resisting ending things you have an issue with endings in death like the word death or ending or it's over like these things are preventing you from leaving jobs leaving people leaving friends behind this is just an example of like how you are holding on to the loss rather than the love and joy it's kind of what you also do in your life in relationships so basically what this person is saying is change your perspective on life they're proud of you they're always with you it's up to you is how they feel and the ocean this is about again getting grounded having balance they want they desperately want you to have balance and they want you to know that also these decisions in life it's it's your unique life like what you want to do with it is what you want to do with it and that's perfectly fine you don't owe them the same route you don't owe them the same route that they took okay yeah well for the sake of this pick a card reading without going way over the mark for this um i hope that this was enough clarity for you guys regarding this person but yes they're with you um they are proud of you um there are some things that they thought were the right way they want you to find your own way and do it by the things that you love and not by the things that you feel like you have to do so this message is specific for balance and wisdom and patience and letting life be fun and not overworking yourself um that you will be victorious regardless like they already they're already saying that so you don't have to worry about that but yeah, they love you. This is obvious. Like they they definitely have a lot of love for you and care about your well-being. So, if you chose deck number 1, this is your reading and what do your deceased loved ones have to say to you? If you guys have chosen deck number 1, don't forget to comment down below so I can leave some words of encouragement. Um rest in peace to the people that you guys are asking about and remember to stay in peace and unconditional love. All right, I'm going to move on to deck number 2.
All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and what do your deceased loved ones want to share with you or tell you? So, All right, so first off, what I've done is I've picked the energy of this person that I'm going to be channeling. So keep in mind that I'm going to be channeling quite a few people who have passed. So take what resonates with you and leave behind what does not. All right, the energy of this person was a best friend. Right off the bat, we have dog. Um, it seems like a friend that you guys have lost. Someone that you guys were close with, Peacock, Vibrant, someone who has great energy. Um, when I was shuffling through this deck, uh, there was a specific message that I have for someone um, that has chosen this deck. This person, um, they could have taken their life. A lot of you, like for those of you who I'm channeling, so I'm just putting aside a few of you guys real quick to channel this message because it was coming through. Um, they, they may have taken their life or they passed at a very young age. A lot of you are asking why, um, some of now the suicide thing is specific based on who they were as a person. Like this person struggled, uh, with bullying and the things that were going on in their life. This deck in particular is, was probably the heaviest. So a lot of you guys have now back to you all. <laughs> Um, a lot of you have lost people and it, you don't know why or how it happened. So a lot of you have questions. So I'm going to be channeling a few things as I'm picking up on this. Um, so yes, this person was very vibrant. Uh, the life of the party. Some of, like for some, there's a few people here. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. And this deck has different cards too yeah okay so we have someone who you guys have lost for those of you it was a best friend or someone that was really close to you yeah it was a close friend this person um seems like they struggled with bullying or being accepted and took their life or they lost their life very young um, they didn't really understand some of the things that have happened. And if you guys cho choose deck number two, don't forget to comment down below because uh, this message is specific for only like a few of you, this one, this card, and I'll weigh in on that too. Now, for some of you, the reason why this person has passed, uh, they could have passed when you were really young too. So that's also a scenario that's coming up. It was to activate you. Like some of you have the gift of being able to receive and hear messages from deceased loved ones, but there's some fears there. A lot of you are fearing the capability or have felt like um, these people are trying to communicate people on your deceased path. A lot of you have lost more than two people. Like you, if you've lost more than two to three people or you feel like, like death is just you know falling in your lap, that is because you're a healer. So you have a healing connection with the transition of life, the transition from death to life. Okay. So I'm going to explain this because this is, this is probably going to be like a 20 minute reading because I just want to make sure you guys are getting the messages that you need flow. All right. Let's see what else we have. Beauty. Yeah. This seems like this person again coming through Atlantis rapid development, excellent success. Uh, whoever this person was too with a friend situation, they looked up to you a lot. Uh, they saw, they thought that they feel, or even now they're saying like, they feel like you're going to do great things in life. Uh, regardless of the fact they've never doubted your capabilities of being able to be successful or being excellent. Like they feel like you, um, in a sense, were like a role model to them. Now, if you guys lost someone at a young age, bear with me because there, again, there are a lot of people here. Yeah, time for a deep dive. Swan. Man, this person that... Um, took their life, like they're coming through a lot, like very heavy, um, 
they struggle with like identity and things of that nature. So I don't want to spend too much time on that because I don't feel like it's a general message for a lot of you. It's just for a few of you. Um, they were just, they were supposed to do great things. Like they were just amazing, but they couldn't see it for themselves. And so that happened. So let's continue again. Like I said, this is going to be a heavy message. So I just want to make sure I'm delicate uh, with this. Um, okay. So we have the friend, we have the fox think on your feet. All right, let's see. Queen of Pentacles, ambitious. So whoever this person was, they had desires in life. They had goals in life. And um, some of you lost a person, like I said in the beginning, at a very, you were very young or they were very young. Take it how it resonates. Six of Cups, yeah. It seems like a friend, like a, a heavy friend that you guys had, like a best friend um, messages for them. Like they feel like they, they feel like you were a good friend to them. They don't question you as a person. Like they, they really feel like you're a good person. Whoever th this is coming through. God, there's multiple. Page of Swords inspection. Again, this was when you were younger or when they were younger. So. As far as you losing someone when you were young, the reason for that as well was to activate your healing abilities again. So a lot of you have, who have lost parents or lost friends when you were really old or young and you were connected to them or you had a lot of love for them, especially if they were parents, then it was to definitely activate it as a healer because we have a lot of childlike energy here. Um, some of you, man, this is... Bear with me because I'm trying to explain to you guys. There's like 10 P there's like 10, like some of you have lost children. I, I see that here too, like miscarriages or, um, something has had happened to the child or you lost children. This reading is very heavy. It's very heavy. So we have someone who has taken their life. We have a best friend. We have someone who has lost their life at a younger age. We also have someone that you lost at a younger age. And we also have a few of you who are parents or have lost children too. And you want to know if they are okay. Um, or if you could have done something better. And you, a lot of you are blaming yourself, regardless of the situation, blaming yourself, um, wishing that you could have seen the signs or would have known beforehand, uh, before this person has passed. 10 changes. Yeah. It was also to shift you and it was a, I know when I say this, it's not from an insensitive place, but this, this uh, loss was supposed to happen. It was an important part of your spiritual journey. Um, and that is going to take some time for you guys to understand because a lot of you are blaming yourself on this group particularly. And we're still getting into more messages because it's a lot going on. Um, a lot of this also was karmic energy that you were releasing too. Like these, these people that you guys are asking about could not go with you to the next level in your life. And so we understand as we progress in levels, um, people, we lose people and things like that. So a lot of you guys are finding it hard to make amends with this specific situation. We have a lot of people here. Remember what I said earlier? I said, there's a lot of people. We have one person here, one person here, one person here. Anytime we have court cards, personality cards, king, queen, king, or even a page, then it's one, two, three, four people easily that are, that is coming through. Um, a lot of you, a lot of the people that you guys are asking about want you guys to move forward as well in understanding that the transition of death, like I told the other decks, the transition of death is also life. Like it's a loop. Um, this is also for you guys to understand death more to look more into understanding the transitions in life, like death, what is death to you? These are the questions that um, are going to help you release this person and only seeing them in a, in a space of white light and also love, unconditional love and peace. Four of pentacles. Whoever this person was, was very selfless for all of the people I hear. They were uh, very selfless, very 
caring, very giving, great people, or we're going to be great people. But this death, like for you guys, this, this death was a part of your spiritual awakening as well. It's so prevalent to who you are and why you're here. That's why there's a, there's going to be a little bit more study that's required in understanding this. So go back to this place of the passing of this person or these people that you guys are asking about and ask for clarity from your guides on what is death and what is the transition. A lot of you are having a problem with death in general. And so I feel like that's going to bring more questions to you. Like, these people passing was to ignite your spiritual connection, to ask more questions. Like if you lose someone that's close to you and you're like, why God, why? That question is going to bring you closer to the relationship that you have with source, the divine, whatever you call it, whatever you choose. We have a knight of sorts. So we have another person again, a knight. This is a teenager. We have a teenager, a child, and an older person. Now we're getting, we're starting to narrow it down who these people are. Um, anything else that they have to say, the higher font. Um, you guys could have been, you could be a Taurus or they could have been a Taurus or had Taurus in their rising moon or sun. They also want you, none of these people were going to conform to society. Like they all were very like different and rebellious. They all had a different uh, perspective on life and they didn't really follow many rules. They didn't really like to follow the rules. They were very unique outside of like what everyone else is doing or would have been like that. And so they're very unorthodox people is what I'm getting here. Oh, again, like I was saying with the healer, I got into a message, messages came in and I just simply forgot it. You guys are at are being held more like accountable for your spirituality and your gifts because of the heaviness of this. This tells me that you guys have a huge purpose on your life, um, especially a spiritual person, uh, a spiritual purpose to understand spirituality more. Because when we see death, we just see the body decaying. We just see the body gone, but we don't really question the soul inside of the body that keeps the body operating. Once the soul leaves, the spirit leaves. The body just kind of collapsed. I don't know if you guys have ever witnessed someone passing or an animal or something like that passing. It's just like they take their deep breath and it's like a spirit or a soul or something. That somethingness. See, that's what I'm saying. You guys, you guys are heavy spiritual. Like you have a heavy spiritual purpose on your life. For me to release this type of information to you, it tells me where you guys are. So that somethingness inside of the body that was keeping it moving, keeping it functioning, you know, all of the things that happen in the human body, the breathing, the, the lungs and everything. Once that person passes, you see their whole body collapse. So the question is what left the body and what is the body? What is that somethingness that was keeping this person alive? That tells me that you guys are on a spiritual journey. The full card. So they also want you, um, this person, again, the full card and the higher font together, the Knight of swords, uh, they were very different, very unique, or were going to be very different and very unique. Um, but it just wasn't their time is what I'm hearing what they're saying. This lifetime, this generation is not their time. They did like they served their purpose is what they're saying. They served their purpose. They're actually at peace. You guys don't have to worry about that. Um, very amazing people, or we're going to do amazing things, but the purpose was already served again to understand more of these things, because a lot of this, these people that you guys have lost is doesn't make sense. Um, it's going to only make sense to the ego, to the mind, because what is making sense? You know, what does that even mean? Because logically we don't even understand as humans death in general. Where do they go? Why did they leave? You know, these simple questions that we have. This is to spark your journey of spirituality. Taking more risks, asking more questions. Three of Swords. A lot of you are still heartbroken over this. You don't know why it happened. Um, this person could have been someone that you loved or were in love with, with this card. 
if not, because I don't see it as a relationship again, it was just um, a deep, profound love that you guys have that is creating this sense of pain. Now, this card is very unique. It's actually one of my favorite in this particular deck. I will have to find this deck for you guys. Um, as you see behind her is the past. It's very dark and heavy. But as you look at the transition of her following the angel into the light, it is happiness and joy. So for that person that did take their life, for a few of you, or that, that child that didn't make it, or that friend that, that um, passed at a young age, or the people that have passed when you were young, they transitioned into joy, peace, harmony, happiness. And this is where you guys find your peace and forgiveness within self is through tr transitioning from the past into the future, into the present, so that you guys can release this energy. Ten of Cups. Yeah, a lot of you are unhappy. This situation has not been figured out yet. It's also affecting your life and relationships. Also, even if it's subconsciously. Man holding a coin. Six Chakra. All about spirituality here, guys. Anxiety. Release this energy. Some of you have yet to release it because of the questions that you have. Peaceful resolution. I love it when spirit just provides the information. Like I tell you guys, I don't see these decks. Um, you've got to find peace with the situation. It's creating anxiety. It's also not allowing you to open up your third eye and see spiritually why this had to happen it's this person has come back or will come back for you to make a peaceful res resolution because they are not at peace when you are not at peace so it's creating a lot of anxiety it has affected your relationships for a few of you very small amount um this could have been a loved one like you were in love with too you maybe not have had the chance to um, move forward in a relationship, but you really had a lot of love for this person or were with this person. Again, take it how it resonates. Time to go. This is their overall message for you. Like, besides the fact that they don't want you to worry about them, that they felt like you were a great friend, that they want you to be at peace with the situation, that they want you to understand that they serve their purpose and their, that they were providing you with the necessary spiritual guidance to understand who you are. And that will make sense as you guys start seeking. Time to go. The sun sets and rises each day and it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning. And we are with you through each phase and cycle. So this ending has been particularly challenging for you, but again, to understand that there's an ending and a beginning and they kind of run into each other. This is this is what you guys will start looking into more of as far as the spiritual situation, the spiritual perception and through the through the lenses of your spiritual eye will you be able to answer these questions that you still have for this person or these people that have passed in your life. So hopefully that was the clarity or enough clarity for you guys um, to decide on how to make a peaceful resolution with this. If you guys chose deck number two, don't forget to comment down below. I'd love to leave some words of encouragement. Rest in peace to the people who have passed here um, as they are in peace and unconditional love. Let's move on to deck number three. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading and messages from your deceased loved ones or what they want to say to you. There are going to be some general messages that I'm going to release through each deck um, as I have done in the past decks. First off, I wanted to share with you guys that I, with this reading, have channeled many people. So be sure to take what resonates with you. Uh, when I say that there are, last the last deck, there were quite a few people that came through. So um, I'm going to touch on what I touch on and make sure like if you feel like, oh, that's me, that that's who I'm asking about, then that message is for you. So first and foremost, I want to look at the energy of this person that you guys are asking about. Already they were a part of your transition in life. 
spiritually. They were a part of your rebirth and transition, even if you guys don't know exactly like what that is. This person, your guys' deck had three of these cards. I don't think any other deck did. Mouse, tend to the small things. Mouse spirit. Spider spirit and dog spirit so you guys had a close connection with this person mm. some of you guys did a few of you because i feel like this is a lot of you didn't have the connection that you actually wanted with this person yeah thank you um you didn't really have the connection that you really wanted to have you didn't really have the justice let's see if justice is here okay no justice here we'll see if there's justice in any other cards because i feel like that is definitely a word um like this person passed out of nowhere for some of you guys they were i don't really feel like they were part of the crowd it was the small things with the mouse spirit, the small things that they did that you didn't really acknowledge until after the passing. Like a lot of you guys didn't really understand how pivotal this person was to you um, until they passed. Let's see what else is going on. Hope. Um, a lot of unanswered questions that you guys have about this person you you have lost hope but um this energy is very heavy like there's not very much optimism about the passing of this person cycles yeah it was hard it wasn't like a, it, it, there's two specific people and i'll let you know when i have others one person you guys had, you, this person I asked past, you guys had a lot of falling outs. Like there wasn't a lot of apologies that were said. There wasn't a lot of um, room to discuss things um, for you to actually be honest about how you felt from a place of love. And then the other person, it's like you guys didn't really speak much and you wish you did. And so this kind of, this person passed without the, the opportunity be, for you guys to say exactly what it is that you wanted to say. You wanted to leave them with like positivity or hope or love and some of you guys have yet to forgive yourself for like letting this go and understanding that they're like, you wish that the connection was a lot stronger. This particular like loss uh, really has affected you guys. Guide, yeah, but they're there for you now. So your guys' connection with this person is gonna be a lot more deeper, deeply connected now that they have uh, gone. And you'll understand that they're acting as a guide, a mentor someone who is very trustworthy, an ally. A lot of you guys may have questioned like more about this person when they were here, but now that they're gone, now that they're gone, there are more questions that you have or have had. So let's get into that. Messages from this person. Okay, yeah. That makes sense. Okay, now it's coming together. Yeah, there were a lot of things that have happened. So you guys could be a Pisces. They could have been a Pisces. Um, I would just look at their birthday again. There were a lot of things that you guys didn't really have clarity on about how this person felt about you. Also, with the moon. I feel like you guys didn't know exactly when this person was gonna pass. Um, it could have been a mother for some of you. We do have Empress here. Or someone who was supposed to be more of a mentor in your life. Like whoever this person was, you guys really just didn't have that close connection as much as you wanted to have. Repose, Four of Swords. A lot of you have not gotten rest about the situation. Like it goes away, but it comes back again about just how, like how it was so soon. Yeah, the unity. There wasn't a lot of this. 
for a lot of you guys with this person, like coming together, the unity, the family. Um, this seems to be someone that you weren't really close with that you wish you could have been closer to or some things that you have said that you wish you can take back. But one second, three of swords. Yeah, you guys are still heartbroken about this. Four of swords. This is the second time we have that rest, blaming yourself. There's You're taking on a lot of blame. Ace of Cups, you didn't really open up about how you felt entirely about this person. Wheel of Fortune, it's a new beginning though. So you're being, that what, what this person is saying is like release it. Like there's no, there's no hard feelings. Hmm. Man, these, this one is uh, very interesting. Okay, I'm just gonna call out a few of the people that I'm pinning on. One, um, specifically for those of you that this resonates with, it is a mother or a mother figure that have passed soon. Um, some of these people that you guys are channeling, for a few of you, struggled with alcohol, addictions, or drugs. They couldn't really be there for you as much as you longed for them to be there. There was a lot of trust issues. There was a lot of um, betrayal, resentment, this is actually a karmic cycle that needs to be closed for you to have a new beginning. That's what I'm hearing. There's blame. There's things that were going on that you were not aware of. This person was struggling with life, did the best they could. And this energy, like if I'm describing you guys right now with the, the lack of hope or faith in your life, I want you to understand that you have taken on that energy. So it's being passed. This is a generational thing of being passed down through person to person, whatever this is, whether it's an addiction, like I have mentioned, um, whether it's not being close with family or having uh, that unity with this person who has passed. If you decide to go the same route to hold on to anything, to hold on to resentment, hate, um, lack of peace, chaos, or any of that hurt, harm, whatever, you are now taking on that energy from this person. So you're like, what they're saying is, they're in pure form of love, this person. They have a, for a lot of you guys, like, this is such a touchy reading. God. They're saying they're sorry, but you have to be open to receive that. And some of you want to say that you're sorry in which there is already unity. Like this person is in perfect, this, they are not, they're no longer a person, they're a spirit, they're in perfect peace and harmony and they, they're asking for you to do that as well and not not to judge them based on the things that have happened in the past so I had to release that for whoever that is um supposed to be for um because someone was not there but it looks like it's a new beginning it's a cycle that needs to be broken and now this person is acting as a guide and a mentor to tell you they were wrong about a lot of things in life that they are sorry again if this doesn't resonate this is not for you three of wands um, a lot of you guys were waiting for a change. It didn't come right away. That change is within you. You make that change. You release it. You let it go. Ten of Wands. It was a lot to deal with. This whole thing was a lot to deal with. Um, there are a lot of things that are not at peace, that are not at rest. Seven of Swords. Yeah. This is the thief in the night. This is somebody who you didn't trust or they didn't trust you. There were a lot of complications but this is all a part of you releasing and forgiveness is that's big forgiveness in cleansing yourself of anything negative is affecting your portal so releasing all of that like well this person said this before they passed or they stole this or they did this at uncle whatever so-and-so's house all that energy you're carrying with you needs to be released like they're coming in peace and harmony to make amends and, and even for some of you guys you're like are you sure that's the person because they would never apologize i'm telling you guys like there's a few people here um for sure one of them is saying i'm sorry those of you who felt like you needed an apology or you really feel that that's for you all right let's see what else is going on yeah it kind of happened out of nowhere Yeah, some of you guys you lost to, um, yeah, that person is coming through clear. It's a friend, too. There's a friend here. Um, 
uh, to, to, they pass unexpectedly with the tower card here as an abruption. Um, they were struggling with life. It was a lot for them. They gave up. They gave in. Um, yeah, they're in peace. They're at peace now. They were not at peace with themselves. So this is a whole nother person. Man, this is a whole nother person. This is a friend now. This is a friend, okay? This person is a friend. Um, so if you guys have lost a friend, you weren't really, you you felt like you were close, but you could have been closer to them. Um, yeah, they're at peace. They're finally at peace. And in fact, they're at peace more now than they've ever been in their life. They were struggling mentally. They were struggling. Um, a lot of them overdosed. Um, some of it was intentional. They gave up. You, if you're blaming yourself about could have spent more, could have, should have, would have spent more time. If I would have done this, this wouldn't have happened. All of those statements need to be released. Fifth chakra, yeah, the throat chakra. So release it. Also, pray, speak. Say what you're going to say to, to the people that have passed. Make amends. Look, I'm sorry. I wish I could have been there more. I am at peace. And I am. you guys have to be at peace about this situation. You guys have to be at peace with the situation and in love. And so speak up. Speak. And also what this is telling me too is the people that are in your life now, you have an opportunity to speak up. Boom. Hey, dad. Just want to let you know I love you. Boom. Hey, mom. Hey, uncle. I know you said some things to me, but you know what? I love you. That's all that matters because at the end of the day, when we are on our deathbed, nothing else matters, right? You know, when my grandma passed last year, the last thing I was thinking about is, oh man, she always ate my food every time I made it. She said she didn't want any, then she was digging in my plate the minute I turned around. No, I'm not thinking about the days she forgot to pick me up from school and all of the things that have happened to me as a child that I feel like have hurt me or things that she has done, which now I just see her in a pure white light. Like she's perfect. She did nothing wrong. My mind won't even let me think of the things that she's done wrong because when people pass, they are in perfect love. And so that's what you guys are learning too. This person was to also awaken you to unconditional love, that feeling of losing this person and feeling like, Oh my God, I know they, you may have even gotten into a fight with this person before verbally or physically. And now you're just like, you don't even think about the fight. You're just thinking about that love. So you're being challenged to love, to let go in love. And also to understand unconditional love, which is a beautiful thing. Hostilities. Some of you guys... Some of these people carry these hostilities, this bitter heart, this hurt, this pain to their grave where there is no room for because they are in perfect harmony now. So these hostilities, I don't, I don't, wouldn't fit in the grave. Let's just say that they wouldn't fit. So they're just in pure form right now. Community. They want everything to come together. They want you to see things from a place of love. They know that they did wrong. They know that there are some things that they could have said better. Um, but I'm also feeling like they did the best that they can. All right. So your guys' two words um, of messages that they have for you is abundance and go for it. So um, specifically what they're saying is... I may, I may have passed too soon, but I wish that I would have seen the beauty in life before I went. That's where I was wrong, is not seeing the beauty in life and the gratitude and the abundance of wealth, of health, of life, the abundance of life. I wish I could have seen the abundance of life before I went. You have the opportunity. Don't take it for granted. Release this energy and allow me to be a guide and a mentor in your life, is what they're saying. Abundance. Go for it. Live your dreams. 
Enjoy life, flourish. That's what they're saying. Secret, secret, secrets. Some of these people took secrets to the grave. Some of you don't even realize the life and the challenges and the situations that these people have undergone. It's a lot of, of cycles and battling life and battling self and battling thoughts and mental things and mental illness and hostilities and just things that don't really matter. So um, there's a level of understanding that you guys have to have when it comes to these specific people. So go for it. Your prayers and positive expectations have been heard and answered. We've been working with you on the situation since the beginning. We continue to watch over you and everyone involved. Stay on your present path as it will take you very far indeed. They want you to move forward. To enjoy life in the abundance of life is the messages. They want you to have hope. They want you to live life to the fullest, something that they feel like they couldn't really do. Now, what animal do you imagine when you close your eyes? What strengths are they known for? What wisdom do they share? Embrace these qualities. It was interesting that that was the first card that came out, but it makes sense. They want you to live the life that I couldn't live, is what they're saying. Um, there's a lot of unconditional love that's coming through. There's a lot of peace that they want to share with you, that they want to spill on you and pour into you if you're open to receiving it. If you're not and you still have a little bit of resistance, that little bit of resistance is proof of the smudge on the mirror that needs to be cleaned. You are the mirror. The reflection is who you believe to be, but that smudge needs to be cleaned. That smudge is Unpe um, unpeaceful resolution as I gotten in another deck this is heavy for you guys that smudge is gratitude also lack of gratitude so these things resentment um, you know all of this blame blame shame guilt those three things in particular smudges on the mirror they need to be cleaned okay so that you guys can live a wholesome fruitful life and receive the messages that you need to receive so there was one more thing that was coming through. Unity and love. So this is an important part of your venture, important part of your lesson. Don't miss the lesson. Don't miss it. This is coming from a place of love and authentic love. So to release that energy and move forward as you guys do have a new beginning and to put that energy elsewhere also. So. If you guys chose deck number three, hopefully this was enough clarity for your guys' situation based on the people who did come through today on this deck. Um, resolution, okay? Uh, also, remember, like I have said to every deck, I'm going to leave you guys with this. Rest in peace to the people who are here that have come through. And also understand that they are in a place of unconditional love. So it is safe for you to release it and let the situation go. Anything that has happened in the past, um, the loss of this person and so forth. So don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of encouragement to you guys. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to the last deck, number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading in messages from your deceased loved ones that have recently or previously have passed or messages that they want to share with you. Okay, so I'm going to first pick up the energy of this person. I want to let you guys know I've already done the other three decks and there are numerous people that come in on each deck. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Black Jaguar, old soul. Lion. This is in the reverse. That's interesting. These people that have come through are just so pure. Okay. This person is and was here for a spiritual journey. This person did not, they, they served their purpose, but there's a small portion of the purpose that they did not complete because it wasn't meant for them. It was meant for you. This is a generational thing. Um, this seems like a spiritual deck already. They didn't complete. Um, the entire mission as you are part of that mission. And we'll see what that is. 
very spiritual. You have power from beyond the world. Focus on what you really want. This person may have not have had a spiritual journey to your knowledge, but they certainly are a spiritual person. Let's see what else they have to their um, energy encompasses. The abundant universe will provide. Yeah, <laughs> this person seems spiritual. Could have been religious. Definitely had beliefs. Let's just say that they were very. Uh, for the most part, it seems like most of the energy that's coming in, they were very vocal about their spirituality and their beliefs. Some of it didn't completely line, align with you, and some of you guys didn't realize the spiritual beliefs that they did have. So um, let your spirit be your guide. The, the abundant universe will provide. This is certainly somebody who is a spiritual person, very spiritual. This is in the reverse. They didn't have courage... They didn't have uh, enough courage or strength to go through with their calling. Like they completed the necessary part that they needed to, but they didn't have enough strength. The things that they, um, the things that they invested in you, the knowledge that they've invested in you was for you to have to complete your higher calling. No pressure, <laughs> none at all. Let's definitely get back into this. Trust the great mystery. So this person was an explorer. They were a researcher. They loved knowledge. They loved to know more. For some of you, they could have been very in tune with animals or uh, the Discovery Channel, learning more about nature, learning more about life, very into things of that nature. Nature, nature. Discernment. Leadership. So yeah, they were definitely meant to be a leader. It's like they... This person definitely passed the baton. Um, and basically, they want you to be true to yourself. Be true. They're saying, be true to your authentic self. Whoever This is like one person, strong person coming through. So this might be just a one or a couple people that come through for your guys' deck. This person wants you to complete your higher calling. They want you to soul search, dig in deep. They could have been young with an old soul or they could have been older with an old soul. Either way, they've been here many times before. The purpose of you, um, you were a part of their purpose. They were a part of your purpose because some of you guys, okay, now more people are coming through. Another person um, wasn't really family to you, was just like a close friend. And then the other person was family. So it is idealistically for you to, they see how great you are. Okay, that's what they're saying. Let me get that out of the way. They see how great you are. They think you're doing amazing. They think that you're a leader. They will always feel very highly and think very highly of you. But they do have high expectations. Now, I'm just going to put this out there. They think that you're great and they don't want you to settle for less. And they're very sure of that. Like their money is all on you. The present, gift, treasure, revelation of your own values, nowness. So they want you to live in the present moment, not in the past, not in the future. Remember, past, future, the only thing that is real is the present moment. Right now, okay? Past, future exists here, okay? So this person has a lot of spiritual wisdom and knowledge of just simply being here. Even if they didn't say much, they knew. Like they had this sense of knowing. You can just look into their eyes and they just knew and you felt it. A lot of you guys just felt like there was something special about this person. So they watched you a lot. They mentored or they overlooked you like they looked to you a lot, but they also feel like you're a leader. They, they feel like you are kind of them. There is a reflection. So this could be a family member too that's coming through. There is a reflection of you too, like who you are. Is like they seen themselves in you is what I'm getting present. Now with the, yeah, fertility. So it could definitely be a friend. We have a friend and we have family coming through. Fertility is in the reverse. So that definitely clarifies that it, it is a friend or someone that you met. It could have been a mentor, someone that was very close to you that felt like family. Now the present moment is them wanting you to live in the present moment to have discerning, to, to have discernment. They are also acting as a guide 
to um, give you discernment. So the things that you know, a lot of the things that you know that are coming through, it is also to benefit you with discernment. So that feeling inside, that's them. The feeling of knowing like, mm, this might not be the right decision, that's them. You guys have a unique oneness about you. Fertility, so potential, powerful, creative energy and initiation energy. So again, like I said, this is a, a very deep spiritual connection that you guys had. Like, I feel like you guys were soulmates. It doesn't, you don't have to be in love with them to have a soul mate. This was a soulmate connection that you guys had. Uh, three of wands, patience. They still see you as a child. Okay, third, third scenario, third person coming through. A lover, someone that you were in love with that you lost. Um, it, you could have also lost a child. Yeah, you could have also lost a child doesn't matter how many months that's definitely here too a child a friend a family a lover nine of cups satisf uh, satisfaction it's been um it's been hard for you to let this person go i do see that all tied up not exactly sure how to move on so this is that love situation some of you don't know how to move on it's not even the love situation it's it's both it's if you've lost a child um, if you know someone who has lost a child, this child has connected with you. You guys could definitely be soulmates. It's, it's a weird situation here, but after the spirit leaves the body, it's a whole nother planet. It's a whole nother ball game. Patience with yourself. Okay. Um, so some of you have lost a lover. Okay. They could have been a Gemini. You could be a Gemini, but basically, um, that love could have been, uh, the life of the, the birth that you lost, but being patient with yourself. Some of you guys don't know how to move forward and let it go. Okay. So that's for a few of you. Uh, miscarriages also coming up heavy. Some of you may have even forgotten like, wow, I did, did have a miscarriage. Um, I wasn't, I didn't, it doesn't matter how young it was. It still affected your life tremendously. So let's get back to the overall thing. Yeah. So four of wands, this is definitely um, someone that was very close to you, family member, the magician, they want you to start going after, they don't want you to give up. First of all, for the people that have lost children, don't give up, move forward. It, the, there's, there's some questions as to why in particular, you're a manifester. So don't give up on life whether that's creating life or living life, like don't give up. This has been a hard loss for a lot of you guys. Um, this person, so here's one person over here. Let's just say it, let, let's just do it like this so we understand what's happening. All right, so lost a child, that's here. Lost a lover, that's here. This seems to be more of family and magician. So the magician seems more of like the child. Uh, don't quit. Don't give up. That's what I'm seeing for you guys. The same thing for losing a partner. Like the partner situation, they want you to move forward. Like, again, this is a very slim portion of you guys. Okay. Cause there's like five people here. So I just want to be sure to release these to who needs to be, who needs to hear it. So now if you guys lost a lover or someone that you were in love with, they want you to move forward because they they're saying that love is universal they want you to be in love with someone else like open up your heart chakra allow more people to come in and heal uh, because you guys have been having a hard time feeling like dating is something that you guys want to do this is the only deck that i had that had a lover really come through strong so a lot of you don't know how to move forward this is something that they're saying whoever you lost, they want you to move forward to not deprive yourself of the experience of being in love. Okay. So that's that the child situation. A lot of you are blaming yourself as to why it happened. It was supposed to happen. And I know that that sounds, I don't want to be insensitive, but what I'm hearing is like, this was part of their purpose in life. And, and though these things don't make sense, it's like, 
this is a perfect opportunity for you to get closer to your guides to understanding more of that because the mana the magician is here it's saying that you can still have children some of you guys are worried about that you can still move on and have that ch child now back to the family member which is mostly majority of you guys there was unity there especially around holidays you love spending the holidays with this person um there's just so much joy around the holiday spirit and the unity justice okay you could be a libra they could be a libra um this person is at peace and they're okay they were okay with the passing like they're they were fine with that um some of them died very peacefully too so with the justice the justice card here it's like that's they were ready to go home is what i'm hearing eight of cups yeah um some of you have had a hard time letting go of these people um but it has left you to Take your own path with the Hermit card. Okay, you guys could be a Virgo or they could have been a Virgo. This is, it's been hard to take this path alone without this person. And they're with you every step of the way. They have an immense amount of love for you. They want you to be abundant and they are so passionate about you connecting with your spirit and love and being kind. So yes, it is, has left you to have to depend on yourself to be your own guide and light through this journey and that's that's been the toughest part for you guys and also the nine of cups okay this person brought you a lot of happiness but all of the people that are channeling they're all in agreement because i don't hear anyone disagreeing that they want you to be happy we have the nine of cups in reverse we have the nine of cups again they want you to be content they want you to enjoy life they want you to understand that you don't have to worry about anything with the spiritual connection it's much easier for you to live this life understanding that the universe is abundant your guides will guide you you have within you the courage you need let go of the past and reclaim your majesty you will find success and contentment with those by your side make no more choices for life in your tribe this person is always this person is also worried about the friends that you're making they're not true to yourself they feel like you're changing yourself for other people they want you to be true to yourself and follow your heart follow your spirit is what they're saying so so there's people around you that that are not there to support or help they're there to serve themselves they are bringing this to your attention. Time to do a room check. Who's in this room? Who's for me? Who's not? I love you regardless, but I, I'm, you know, moving forward. They have been very adamant about giving you intuition to make those decisions around your friends, specifically. Contract. It's broken. So it's in the reverse. Again, like I said, some of you guys... We're soulmates with this person. The contract is still, um, like the contract is over with this person. Meaning they have done, they have lived their life. They have served their purpose and it's complete. There's no longer a necessary contract that ties you to this person. Basically you're free. Okay. So that also releases the pain and things of that nature. And you know, when people say that, Oh, you know, it gets easier with time. I find that, you know, losing my or losing my grandma last year, that more time, more revelation of like, oh, she's not here. Um, so I'm not here to tell you that with time things will change. It's when you make peace with the situation. All right. Ace of Wands. So new beginning, new energy is coming through. They want you to have a new beginning, new energy in love, new energy in creating. And experiencing life, whether that be fertility or whether that be fertility in life, creating a life that you enjoy and love to do. Okay. So new energy is what all of the, everyone is in agreement that they want you to be prosperous. Hermit card being here. This is a spiritual card. And also let God, universe divine guide you is what these people are saying. Within the next few weeks. So. Within the next few weeks, experience or expect to experience the presence of the people that you have asked about. 
I'm also feeling like they're saying, don't be afraid, don't fear, like I am with you, you are with me, we are one, we are connected. We're one unity, one soul. So within the next few weeks, you guys probably will get a visit or a message, you know? Like uh, I always called my grandma Nana. So if I go along my path and I see the word Nana or I see Rose, which is her name, then I will know that it is her. So that's how you have to make peace with the communication that their presence is still there in love and in peace and tranquility. So expect that within the next few weeks. Cupid, so for those of you who have lost, it's crazy because this, this person that you guys have lost, whether it's a lover, a child, or someone of your family, it has affected your love life. This, this loss has broken your heart, okay? And so there is some fear around getting close to people you love and losing them or having children and losing them or having someone so, like I used to feel like if I didn't know anyone, then I wouldn't have to deal with death because you know I wouldn't have to go through that. But it is a part of life, it's a part of experience. And when you can make amends and peace with the situation, it'll be much easier for you. So with the Cupid card here, this tells me that this has broken your heart. And your heart chakra and heart is all about the love that you are able to receive and the love that you are able to give, okay? So right now you're all tied up. There are stagnants in your life because of this too. So it is taking a toll, but it is all connected as well. We send great waves of love into your heart and mind, awakening your love for life itself. Some of you didn't want to live without this person or feel like, it's not the same without this person. Um, it's a, a big void that's empty. And that, that means that there's still a little bit of peace that needs to be made. Your clear decision to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this reawakening. So it has affected your love life. Allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love in all of its glorious aspects. Love in general. Love you experience through losing someone. You experience unconditional love because you're not thinking about the things that have happened when they're laying on their deathbed. You're thinking about how much I love them or when they pass, how much I just love them. But for that spiritual person, even if they didn't seem spiritual, they were very in tune with truth. And that's a beautiful thing. So all in all for you guys, this is all a part of the purpose. And this is a huge part of your spiritual awakening, if you will allow it. So if you guys chose deck number four, don't forget to comment down below. Rest in peace and in love to all the people that are here today that have come through and channeled. I hope I was able to give you some clarity and guidance for your situation. And I appreciate you guys tuning in to this pick a card reading as this reading probably was one of the most heavier readings I've gotten because there's so many people coming in and channeling. So I just want you guys to know that being at peace and being in love is how you are going to heal the situation with losing someone that has passed away. So Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this pick a card reading. Can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. And we're all family. We're all a part of this planet. We've all lost someone. We've all went through this. And so we're here together in unity to help each other get through it. So remember that we're all on the same journey. We're all on the same path, taking different routes to the destination that we desire. Love and light to you guys all. I'll see you in the next pick a card reading.